What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So recently, there has been a little bit of, uh, of division, of a little bit of controversy in the Rocket League community. Some people believe that you can get just as good using free air roll as you can get using directional air roll. Now, whether or not that is the case has yet to be determined. I don't think there's a lot of, of tests out there or, or people that I've tried to figure out if you can really genuinely get as much control with the ball or with aerials or air dribbles, flip resets, using free air roll as opposed to directional air roll. Now, most high level players, including myself, use some form of directional air roll, whether that be air roll left, air roll right, really doesn't matter which one. I mean, you can get just as good with either, but there are some people out there that believe that free air roll is the better option of all three. I am here today to test that. Now, I have a pretty good control over my free air roll. Like, I used to only use free air roll, and then I decided to start trying to gain control of air roll right, and over time, I just got a lot better at it. I can explain how. I might save that for a different video, but I pretty much mainly only use directional air roll right for all of my aerial plays. Any specific car movement, I pretty much use air roll right, but I want to see if uh, using free air roll makes that big of a difference in my gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play three games of rank 2v2 only using free air roll and then i'm going to play three games of rank 2v2 using the normal directional air roll that i use which is air roll right and not only am i going to see if there is a difference in how i feel and my control over the ball but we're going to see if we can win the games i mean maybe not using directional air roll will make me focus a little bit more on the decision making aspect of it or maybe i'll have more control i have no idea i haven't used free air roll in a while but uh i'm excited and let's get into it All right, so first things first, before we get into the ranked games, I I'm just, just, just to see, I'm going to do a training pack only using free air roll and see how different that is. So as a baseline, let's do one of my favorite training packs called Devo with my normal directional air roll. This is pretty much how I always do it. And as you can see, my air roll right is my, uh, is my stick button my what is it l3 i know it's kind of unconventional but i actually did that because i was learning how to half flip and the youtuber that i watched recommended that you should put your air roll on that left stick because it makes it easier to half flip you know you're only using like one input and you can just do the entire half flip like that so that's how i learned and just over time you know using it for little stuff like going to and from the wall to the ground I just started learning it and I got really good at it. And now I'm to the point where when I'm in the air at all, I am pretty much solely using directional air roll right. Yeah, I don't know. Like once you get directional air roll left or right, it becomes second nature. You just don't have to think very hard about what you're doing. And I think the main benefit in my eyes is that you are able to turn your car so fast. And once you get it down, you really don't have to think very much about it. And... There we go. All right, so now we are going to uh, try this very same training pack with just free air roll. Just so you guys know, my free air roll button is L2. So this one right here is my free air roll button. So this is just free air roll. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I can already tell, like, changing my direction in the air like that seemed a lot harder. I feel like if you're, if you're expecting that, it shouldn't be that bad. I, mean, I, don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely think it doesn't look as nice. It doesn't look as smooth. Oh, man. That is just... Oh, God. <laughs> it's functional. You know, it definitely works. Oh, dude, I could not move, man. I could not move. You know, people ask why they why spinning when you're in the air can be so useful. Well, the main reason is whenever you make a connection with the ball, like whenever you get a good hit on the ball, your car is going to recoil back because, you know, Rocket League is a physics-based game. Oh, see, like right there. Um, and when you're spinning, you have moment, you have momentum by spinning. And so you're going to have a little bit more control over your car if you're spinning through the hit as opposed to just hitting it normally. There we go. Okay. I think we'll be okay, but I am I am kind of interested here. Oh, oh, that was all free air roll. That was all free air roll. That was a pretty interesting little test. I mean, I felt like I played decent, but I say let's go ahead and start with a normal game of competitive twos. This one's kind of a baseline. We're just seeing how we play with our normal controls. So normal air roll right. Hopefully we get a dub. Here we go. I'm also just solo queuing these games. So I'm hoping that uh, whatever teammates I get play decent. But one thing I, I always find pretty interesting is I use directional air roll a lot, especially when I'm just on the ground. You know, and another thing that I've noticed when it comes to like playing ranked, especially this season, 
the less you care about winning or losing, I mean, obviously the goal is always to win, but the less you genuinely care, the better off you're going to be. Let's go. You know, let's see here. It's a nice top bend shot. Oh, I can't finish that off. Oh, nice. Teammate scored. That's another thing that I really love. Did you see how I turned my car to where I needed to go for where the ball was flying in the air? Using directional air roll, that's one of the things that I use it for the most is like changing the direction of my car immediately when I'm in the air like that. Because whenever you dodge or put your car in a weird spot, when you use directional air roll, you can change the direction so quickly using tornado spin and all that kind of stuff. With free air roll, I think it's a lot harder in my opinion, at least. You just have overall less control. Nice up shot. Oh, bar down. Beautiful. That's all directional air roll. I didn't use a... I didn't touch free air roll there. And that was a really nice, well-placed shot. Nice save. Got a bump. That should be a goal for us, I believe. Let's go. Play it around Verb there. Let's see how he hits it. Right to us. Little pass play. Oh, nice. Let's go. You know, I got to say, you don't get a really great teammate when you solo queue that often. This guy, he's on it. He's playing solid. That was a really nice shot, and he was in a really good position there because my pass wasn't that good. And I'm just going to sit far field. He wants to use me here. That was a great pass. Good hit for my teammate. That might be straight down. And hey, good game. Okay. So that was kind of our baseline. You know, we played decent. But let's go ahead and unassign our air roll right. Now, I am going to keep air roll left on because I only use air roll left for kickoffs, which is basically I just speed flip. Now, whether or not you think that's cheating, I don't think it's cheating because I'm um, if you watch my L1 button, I literally only use it on kickoffs. Um, we're going to go ahead and clear that binding off. Air roll right. And now we cannot air roll. Like I said, L1 is only being used for kickoff. And then it is free roll only. Let's do it. It's not on target. Oh my god, I tried to wave dash. Now teammates could pass it if he wants to. I'm not going to lie, chat. I used free air roll there. That was a free air roll uh, shot. Oh, I tried to I tried to use air roll. It's like I said, sometimes I'll use directional air roll right for just very minute changes in uh, in my car. That's a bad shot. Could have been a lot better, but can't hate the attempts. Well, dude, just yeah, I, I immediately my recoveries are not any, not any better at all. Like they, they just suck. Like every time I'm in a weird spot where I normally use directional air rolls to recover my car, I just cannot do that right now. He's trying to demo me. He is succeeding. He is definitely succeeding. Wow, I, I can't do nothing. Oh, and we're scored on again. Uh, I think that I think that might be GG. Yeah, well played. I definitely would would chalk that one up to just me and my teammate not really being on the same page at all. Like me and him just didn't really play very well together. A lot of goals happened due to either poor rotations or bad fifties. But I will say for sure, I feel I feel a pretty big difference. Like I feel like my recoveries just aren't even close to what they normally are. Now that is partly due to the fact that I'm used to having air roll right binded, but. Even so, I think just using only free air roll, it still makes it a little bit more difficult. Dude, yeah, like I, I feel like I have zero control in the air right now. That is crazy. Oh, I tried to use directional air roll there. Nice, there we go. All right. Just forced, uh, I forced them to hit the ball into me and get a bad 50. So we'll take that. Nice shot. That's, I mean, that's just a great pass. That's just a great pass for my teammate. Your teammate demos both, both opponents. I feel like you need to score that one regardless. Air roll or no air roll. That's gotta be a goal. Okay. Hey, a little free air roll. Air dribble. Okay. That's a terrible shot. Oh, I could have shot that anywhere. Just going to hit that downfield to teammate. He's there for it. Oh, come on. Double tap that teammate all day, baby. Oh, my God. What a save. We definitely need to score soon. There we go. Oh, my God. Let's go. That was a great touch by him. It was a great shot. And honestly, not a bad touch by us. And that was... Completely with free air roll. Okay. 
No. Oh my god, I tried I tried using directional air roll. It was just forces of habit. Oh, maybe a fake kind of oh come on. I definitely noticed like as I'm trying to shoot, without directional air roll, I'm missing out on a lot of normal uh, control that I have over the ball and over like how I'm hitting the ball. Yeah, I just Man, every time I jump in the air, I definitely notice a, a pretty major difference in my ability to control the play. Good save by teammate there. Ah, that's a, that's a good play by them. Unfortunate, but a, a good game. And I got to say, I did feel decent during that game. I lacked a good bit of control during some of those plays, but I'm going to go ahead and add air roll right back. And we're going to see if I feel much, much different after that one. That's a really good save. That's a really, really good save. Those are not easy saves to get. Should not be any type of touch that he will be able to get. He wants to bump me. So now it's a total 1v1, though. Nice. Super easy. We have a chance here. All right. So you see, I knew that he was going to go for the bump there. And that should be an easy goal. Nice. You know, it's just like when you play twos, you should know that if you only see one person in net, that second guy is coming at you like a heat-seeking missile, man. He is not hesitating. He he wants your buns, and he will take your buns. You got to be careful when you're playing twos. If you think you have time with the ball, trust me, you don't. Kinda, again, I'm, uh, I don't love Ivan's positioning here. He, he just seems a little bit inconsistent on what he wants to be doing with the ball. But so far, I mean, he's not playing terrible. It's definitely something we can work with. You know what I mean? That's a great shot by Ivan. You know what? I was out here talking, you know, saying something, and Ivan now just showed me up. Good shot, Ivan. That's a very smart play. He only had a 1v1. He took a 50. Well, this could be tough. Oh, never mind. Not for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go. Wants to him already. All right. I hope he can control this one out. Good job, Ivan. Okay. He, he's working him, Chad. He's working him. Look at, look at him go. Oh my god, he is working him. Ivan, nice shot. But hey, we're taking it. Okay, so uh, honestly, I, I know that I've said that the free air roll games, while I have felt less in control, they're not going as bad. I mean, they've been close, but we have also lost them. So we might be learning a little bit of something here. You know, we might be uh, figuring some things out. But let's see if we can catch a dub this time with free air roll. And uh, that might kind of sway. That might sway our, uh, our 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 test results, you know. Oh my god! And then immediately, like the first thing I do is go for a shot with with air roll. This one is only free air roll. Let's see if we can catch a double. So far, pretty good control. This is gonna this is gonna suck. That's absolutely. Mm. That's that's on me. Uh, Partly bad decision being made, but I, I, let me tell you guys something. I, I would have probably been able to make a touch on that if I had been using directional air roll. Like as soon as it, I, as soon as I did it, I knew I kind of made a mistake because I, I felt like I have no control in that in that situation. Just absolutely zero control. It's a good shot. Oh, that was a, I was honestly a good shot. It was free air, air roll shot as well. Oh, that would have been such a good... Oh, man, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like I would have had a better shot there if I would have been using directional air roll. It's going to be our last stand here. That's... GG. I, I, I absolutely 100% think that that game, that game specifically, I think was decided a lot more because I did not have as much control as I normally have. So we're going to do one more game. As these games are going on, I mean, I know part of it is because I've not used free air roll only in a very long time. So of course, I'm going to probably play a little bit worse, but I genuinely think that I just have absolutely a much less range of control on my car as compared to how, how I normally do. Oh my god. You know what? Maybe it just doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just playing bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that felt good. Sometimes it's better to go for the player, not the ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that felt pretty good. 12 seconds later. 
Oh no. Please, not like this. Let's go! Oh my god, I almost threw. We're good! Guys, we're good! Ah, uh, unfortunate there. But I do think we learned some uh, some valuable some valuable insight here. To end this one off, I'm gonna do one more thing really, really quickly with uh, both directional and normal air roll. Now, we're gonna run a speed jump rings map. Here we go. Now, for this, I want you guys to see if you notice any major differences in the and my ability for me to maneuver my car around the map. Now this one is actually gonna be a slightly more interesting test than just playing ranked because it's going to be using complete air roll and only using air roll. And uh, as you can probably see, and again, the, one of the main things that I like about using directional air roll is your ability to just change the direction of your car so fast. You can change the direction of your car using free air roll, but I just feel like it's not nearly as precise and it's not nearly as direct and fast. Because when I'm using my directional air roll, I, I feel like I can just turn the direction of my car at a whim. It's very, very quick. But whenever I'm using free air roll, it is just not nearly as fast. For our ranked games, we lost every game with free air roll. And we won two and lost one with directional. So um, I will say all of the games were pretty close. So it's not like we got blown out at all. But I do think some of the games where we, we were using our free air roll um, instead of directional air roll, I feel like we probably would have stood a little bit of a better chance if I was using my normal uh, binds. So, you know, after watching this video, whether or not you feel like it's time for you to learn directional air roll, that's kind of on you. I will say it is something that takes time for sure. I started off small and then, you know, got better at it over time. I started using it with uh, my half flips and then little things like jumping off the wall going back to the ground wave dashes and over time i just started implementing it into my normal game like i'm doing now with um with rings maps you can also just use uh free play and just use a bunch or just basically fly in the air for as long as you can go from go from one side of the field to the other only using directional air roll that's one way that you can learn a lot quicker um but doing rings maps i feel like is the best so if you're a console player I gotta say, you are at a slight disadvantage if you're trying to learn directional air roll, but you totally can. You totally can. Um, it just takes a lot of practice. A lot of practice and a lot of time spent uh, learning, because that's what Rocket League is, man. You know, Rocket League is all about consistency. If you want to learn something new, if you want to learn how to air dribble, how to flip reset, how to w do wall reads, how to half flip, whatever it is, all it takes is a little commitment, and you will get there in no time. And we're just gliding through this thing. It's so hard to break the habit, man. Like your brain wants to do it so bad, but you just gotta tell it not to. See, now we're getting like, as we're progressing into this thing, it's getting worse and worse. Like all of these very, very minute direction changes are just getting more and more difficult. This is from someone who used to use a lot of free air roll. No, it's not, it's not like I'm new to this thing, man, you know? I wonder if I can get this part in one go. It's gonna be difficult. Oh, nice. See, that that little recovery I just did, that is what's so difficult without using directional air roll. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to learn directional air rolls, because I would see all these clips, whether it be on YouTube or even TikTok back in the day, and um, I would see these people doing all these incredible movements and being... Ha ha it seems like they were just so in tune with their car, just so in control. And I was like, man, I, I want to do that. You know, it's like when I do a rings map, it does not look that good. It doesn't look that controlled. And uh, we were able to get it down pretty quick. Ooh, yeah, this one's going to be pretty difficult. Spinning the whole time here. Yep. No, man, this is going to be tough because I'm going to be I'm spinning the whole time. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, wait, we got it. Oh, we got it. Okay. All right. I think, I think that's it. What? What? Okay. We're, whatever, whatever our time is, we're trimming like 10 seconds off of it. Cause that was bull. How did that happen? Okay. It took us a solid one minute longer to do that one as compared to the directional air roll right. So at the end of the day, I think uh, honestly, it didn't affect my gameplay to the point where I feel like I would drop down 
an entire rank over time if I only use free arrow. But in my opinion, it, it does make quite a bit of a difference, whether it be from recoveries. Like, let's say you, you get bumped when you're in the air. I feel much more comfortable and confident when I'm using directional arrow as opposed to free arrow, especially my minute movements in the air and my ability to control the ball, like flip resets and all that kind of stuff. I find it very, very, very easier when I'm using directional arrow, but I can absolutely see how somebody can use only free arrow and get, you know, get to SSL. But I, I would say that most people who are that high of a rank SSL above, you know, high grand champion, most people use directional arrow left or arrow right. So if you want to get to that point, and if you want to get to the point where you can have all that control, you know, flip resets, double, triple flip resets, uh, crazy ceiling shots, musties, all the stuff in the air, I would recommend using directional arrow or learning it. And, and it starts small and then learn it over time. But if you guys want me to, I can make more videos about this in the future. But let me know what you think. Let me let me know what directional arrow you use or if you just use free air roll and let me know if after this video you are going to try and learn directional air roll and uh let me know what your progress is but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next one peace